All right, guys, time for round two. What do I mean by this? We're talking about who did it better. In the, this corner, in the right corner, we have the Benchmade 940 Osborne. Undoubtedly, one of Benchmade's probably best designs out there, if not their best, certainly one of the best, and just one of their most classic knives. The 940 put them on the map as being a dynamite knife maker, and this has sold probably in the millions of units or copies or whatever you want to call it. This thing is an incredible knife. The Osborne uh, 940 just absolutely goes, has to go down in the, the hall of fame for EDC pocket knives. This thing was developed back in the early 2000s and has remained the identical same exact knife it has seen you know some revisions and some newer limited edition sprint runs but the core knife itself being made of aluminum and handle and not as cpm s30v in the blade has remained the same since it was released so this is like i said the benchmade 940 and in this corner we have the protec malibu now this is a far newer knife to or at least in comparison to the 940 Osborne, but it really kind of honestly feels like it stole a lot of homework and core design from the Benchmade 940. Both of these knives will set them next to each other so you can see share in many similarities, the biggest of which is blade shape. They are both reverse tontos, and while they look a little bit different because this is a black DLC coated knife, I can trust you or rest assured like I said, very similar. I'd say the biggest blade shape design difference is of course the Malibu is a little bit wider and it has a flowing belly as opposed to the straight, almost pencil-like kind of body or blade shape to the 940 Osborne. Now, which one of them is more effective in cutting? It's kind of honestly just a wash. They're both very effective and they're both about the same in thickness. So it's not like you're really going to gain much uh, either direction you go. Now I will say, of course, the Malibu being a much newer knife, it comes in all the newest, latest, and greatest uh, steels. The kind of factory or you know plain version of it comes in CPM. It comes in CPM 20 CV. Mine in particular is a limited edition in S45 VN, and they are now releasing them in Magna Cut. So you get some really fantastic steel options. And I think the biggest thing that I really like is that for basically the same price as an Osborne. These guys usually run about 220 bucks. These guys usually run about 230 to 250. The Malibus, um, you're really getting a huge jump up in edge retention, corrosion resistance, and all such things. Not to mention too, the nice thing about the Malibu, as you can clearly see here, it comes in a wide variety of different flavors like i said mine is all blacked out but you can get them in you know different satin finished blades with like blue handles um, and different colors of aluminum now like i said the similarities with these knives are once again um, very apparent in the fact that they both have aluminum handles they both have like i said very similar blade shapes both very similar blade thicknesses. And yeah, they are just overall very similar. And I don't really think that that is a problem because the 940 is a fantastic knife. So anything that copies a 940 is going to inadvertently become a fantastic knife. Now, some ways that the Protec definitely differs is obviously it is not a crossbar lock. So it is not featuring an axis lock itself. It is in fact a button lock, which is something that Protec is really good at manufacturing and of course it, it does not use thumb studs like the like the Osborne it instead op, it instead opts for a flipper and that is the only way to open it so you get this flipper I guess you could also technically open it with the you know um, hole or with the uh, you know um, with the button so you could technically do it that way, but of course its primary way it's designed to be opened is with this little flipper tab. And I will say too, the other thing that really kind of sets it apart is that it is also running on ball bearings. Now I will say it is worth noting, and in my opinion, a well broken in knife on washers can be every bit as smooth as a knife on bearings. As you can clearly see with this 940, it is incredible 
incredibly smooth like blade. You guys can see here how it well it flicks around, it moves around. So I, I don't want it to seem like a knife in order for it to be smooth has to be running on ball bearings. However, because the Malibu does run on bearings, it is incredibly smooth. And my favorite part about this is its action to open. It just is very well tuned. And as you can see, it absolutely jumps to life. So it is really nice in that regard. And I think a lot of people have quickly become fans of the Malibu because of the fact that it is such a smooth, such a clean knife. But also too, I think other reasons why a lot of people have become become fans of the Malibu is it's a very similar to the 940, very timeless, very utilitarian, and very user-friendly. It also, like I said, I think another big appeal to it comes in a number or wide myriad of really good like knife steels for the price point. Like I said, we're talking, you know, mid to low 200s and um, what you're getting is just top tier steels. Like I said, like CPMS, 45VN, 20CV, MagnaCut, all fantastic options for this price point. And of course, once again, it almost goes without saying, it is, of course, made in the US of A, which is a nice uh, kicker to this blade. Now, like I said, who did it better? Who made the better utility knife? In my opinion, is definitely a tough call because I feel like, you know, the obvious answer is just to say that Malibu, because the Malibu is newer, uses better materials, uses, you know, a little bit better, potentially, you know, the ball bearing system is a little bit better than, you know, washers. But in my opinion, I think that's kind of the action side of things is kind of a wash. Um, to me, I probably would give it in the end to the Malibu and that is for a couple of reasons. Of course, like I said, the newer materials are very nice and it's nice to see the innovation because once again, we sit here as a, a knife community and we give a lot of flack to, to companies like, you know, Emerson for, you know, innovating and using basically the same exact materials, design, equipment that they've been using for the last two decades. But at the same time too, that's the 940, you know, the 940 largely outside of maybe some cosmetic, slight cosmetic changes changes. The 940 is still made out of, you know, green uh, aluminum handles, CPM S30V blade steel, and is still basically the same cost. So this knife has basically stayed right where it's at for the past 20 years. And once again, that's a pro and also a con, you know, it really hasn't innovated at all. I mean, that's, that's kind of unfortunate. Once again, you be the end judge of that. But in my opinion, I think it is a little bit unfortunate. So Malibu being a newer knife with newer materials definitely gets a strong lead in that regard. And then for me, the last part is the action. Um, both of these undeniably are incredibly smooth knives to open and to deploy. There's no doubt in my mind the 940, once again, well broken in like my example is a great knife, but from the factory, the Malibu is just a, a knife that's almost cathartic to open. Just the way it opens, there's just this thud that is hard to express as this knife just locks into place and it just feels great. The action is so consistent, so consistently an absolute guillotine that I love it. It's just a knife that is genuinely enjoyable to fidget with, to play with, to open, to close. It is just a fun freaking knife. So I, like I said, in the end, I have to give my point to the Malibu. The 940 is an excellent knife. It has some wonderful heritage. I think the biggest thing it has going for it is that because the design hasn't changed in like 20 years, it is very time tested and proven and it is a good knife. Don't get me wrong, the 940, the 940 is a fantastic and superb blade, well designed, but like I said, the Malibu is just that little bit extra, that little bit better, and I think that gives it the edge. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.